All right, no, restrain, restrain. Uh, let's make fun of iDubs. Look at, okay, first of all, let me hide the, sorry, hamster, you gotta go. Take it easy, my boy. Enjoy those cookies I bought you. Pokemane sends her regards. Um, whoever has done iDubs' camera, please, for the benefit of him, lower it a little bit. Um, because my boy looks like Anakin Skywalker about to fucking butcher an entire school of younglings. This guy looks like he has a darkness in him that is so dense it could be the core of a neutron star. He is barely able to even... he Actually, not even barely able. He is completely incapable of hiding the hatred and contempt at every facet of his entire life from being imminently visible to everybody at like a glance. Um, but let's see what he has to say, chat. On the recent strip malls video, and I want to, uh, like my aim is to get more and more comments like this. Uh, someone was either referring, or I don't think it was on the strip malls video. I think it was on the, uh, the driving video, the complaints about driving. Um, they basically said, like, I'm, uh, either I'm learning to drive or, like, these are all my exact same anxieties. I feel seen. And I'm like, oh, man. If I could get more and more people saying, I feel seen in, uh, in the, in the comments of videos, I feel like that's, like, my new barometer for, like, making a good video or at least achieving what I want to in a video, which is like, you know, relating to others uh, and sharing like a bit of, of something. So there you go. What makes a video successful? Is it the views? Is it the financial success? Is it the cultural impact? The notoriety? Is it sharing ideas? Is it convincing people to your way of thinking? Is it just having a nice time putting out something that you enjoy making? No, says the man in LA. It's finding mentally ill people and developing parasocial relationships with them by, uh, by relating to them somehow. That is the hallmark of a quality video. When I put out my videos talking about how the in, like right now I'm saying the N word in my head violently in an angry and racist way. What I want to see in my replies is Josh at that timestamp, I understood that. Me too, buddy. Me too. Those are the kind of comments I really covet. Thanks, iDubs. Um. Oh, I fucked my chat. Hold up. I restarted my chat. I might have to... And now I don't get to see people agreeing with me, and it's causing me uh, gender dysphoria. Why does this not work? Do I have to refresh it? Oh, fuck. Wait, no. Okay, I'll, I, I broke something by refreshing kick, and I regret that deeply. Deeply, chat. Um. Okay, there's a second one. Hold on. Okay, I fixed. I managed to find a, a fixing point. Um, remind me when the super chat starts that I have two super chat dashboards open because I broke something. Thank you, chat. Uh, second clip, second clip, sorry. I almost had a panic attack because I thought I broke, it, fucked up everything. Yeah, I talked to Max about the, the wedding situation. I, when he was first fucking sending out invites, I was like really uncertain of how that was going to work out because I had some uh kind of important plans here in the states so we uh we went a month earlier to kind of you know give him and cat our well wishes um that's why i was in australia and it's kind of also why we didn't do cold ones is because he was ramping up for his wedding stuff
Someone in chat says, Josh, you're so competent. Thank you. Finally, I feel seen. I feel seen, chat. Um, this comment was remarkable because this guy he's talking about named Max is um, Ian's best friend. He, uh, like, notably, demonstrably, is Ian's best friend. And yet, when Max was getting married... Ian was conspicuously missing from the wedding proceedings. People wondered why. Why was Ian not invited uh, to his best friend's wedding? And the answer has come out, um, we believe, that he was invited. Because apparently he was. However, iDubs had Darth iDubs. Let me put him up on the screen again so you can see this man's... Uh, glare, this man's utter fucking hatred of everything and everyone around him that he finds inescapable. Um, Idubs apparently did not go to the wedding because he had other, other things to take care of. And we now believe that he missed his best friend's wedding because Anisa was scheduled to get her horrific uh full back tattoo that week and it would be irreconcilable for their schedules for him to visit this wedding uh, with her while she was getting her back tattoo and instead of just rescheduling it or instead of him going by himself without her he stayed behind to nurse her uh as she as she healed between the days uh, and and uh, and he missed his best friend's wedding for a back tattoo. Allegedly, allegedly, chat. I don't know that for sure. That's just the speculation, chat. Just just the speculation. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.